Hey guys, I bet you've all done some book shopping recently and I bet that stack of beautiful brand new revision guides is just sitting by the side of your desk. So, now we've bought the revision guides, what is the best way that we can use them? So first of all, what not to do with revision guides, do not get your highlighter out and start highlighting massive chunks and then come in school and tell me you've read the whole revision guide. Because it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And I know loads of you out there are going to go, no, no, Miss, you're wrong, it works for me, I did this and then I got an A star and I'm, no, it doesn't work. Reading stuff does not go into your head. You cannot just read and colour in your revision guide. That is a waste of time and it's a waste of money as well because there are cheaper things you can go and get to colour in. I've got like a toddler, I can tell you, we go through reams and reams of paper with his colouring in. There are cheaper and easier things to colour in if that's what you want to do. But do not get a revision guide and colour it in and tell yourself you're revising because you are just lying to yourself. Sorry if it sounds harsh, but it's true. Do not do it. You need to be working sensibly with your revision guide. So by all means, pick a page and get your highlighter pen and highlight the key bits of information. But then what you need to do is to get your flashcards out and put that key information onto flashcards. And then start using those flashcards. Or get a double page spread in the revision guides and start making mind maps out of it. And I don't mean copying it out word for word for word because, again, that's just not going to work. It doesn't go in. I mean rephrasing it in your own words. So taking like the double page spread and just turning it into an A4 summary, something like that. Or taking the words in the revision guide and turning it into pictures, turning it into cartoons, turning it into something that works in your brain. Because stuff written by other people isn't necessarily going to work for you. You've got to turn the revision guide into something that works for you. So don't just accept it on face value and don't necessarily just rely on your revision guide because they may skim over stuff because it's a very, very thin book. A very thin book and um, don't just like accept everything they say in the revision guide maybe go and get textbook maybe look at youtube videos maybe go and look at bbc bite size and get different information then you can add to your flashcards and add it to your mind maps but don't just colour it in because that's just just a waste of time now the great thing um in fact the better thing than revision guides to get is workbooks loads and loads and loads of workbooks just yeah it's a massive collection of worksheets that you've gone and paid for instead of the ones your teacher has given you but your brain is going to remember stuff a lot better um a lot easier if it's doing something with the information so i'm talking about active revision as opposed to passive revision get that workbook and have your revision guide and then fill in the questions from the workbook from the revision guide or go and get all the past papers and fill all those in using the revision guide as the basis highlighting anything you don't remember or don't remember making flashcards of it getting perfect answers for your exam papers so um revision guides are great things loads of you have them but honestly i'm not a big fan and the reason i'm not a big fan is because you, you just they, they're kind of like a comfort blanket you tend to just like colour them in and um, think you've done a load of revision when you haven't and I know this seems like I'm being really really mean but there are so many better ways to revise than using a revision guide so sorry guys I know this maybe wasn't the video that you were hoping for but hopefully it's been helpful to some of you